Alrighty. Back from my obligatory pre-game break. I'm going to load into the last resort save, obviously. I don't know if we necessarily hit Clan Tech era last time, because last time I was more focused on chatting with Sif and Wraith in the background as they played Ark. But uh if not, then we're probably super close, like a in-game year or two away from uh, from hitting Clan Tech era. Now that's when the real fun begins. It is okay. Yeah, so we're like an in-game year away from Clan Tech. Got it noted. Okay. Rescue gear. Started off strong with a nice rescue here. That's a little too much. Nom nom nom. Yeah, that's. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little angrier at that, because I was 100% gonna, I was planning on only doing a VR stream tonight. I'm gonna make that clear, it's like, I wanted to do, like, just a bunch of VR stuff tonight. But unfortunately, my, my controller died. I forgot to check the t check the charge on him. If I would have checked the charge on him, I definitely would have delayed the stream start by like half an hour if it meant getting a full charge on the uh, on the controllers. But that was not the case. <laughs> Just like do like two three hours of VR, get a nice workout in with all the moving I do, and then call it a night. Uh, now we're stuck playing this. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to be next stream that I play VR again. Because I'm hoping to actually record the pre-campaign setup for a better Advent 2 tonight. Then I was going to start the next XCON 2 campaign on Thursday evening. Because I won't be streaming tomorrow because I work early Thursday. So it's going to start XCOM 2 on Thursday. And then Friday is going to be another late night stream. Where, you know, I know where I start at 9 o'clock when most of my viewers have already gone to sleep. To try out some Project Zomboid with the, with the boys. Because watching Dureva has got me thinking about it. And then Lines, the mysterious fourth person we play at normally only at night with. Has it on his wish list, so I talked it over with Sif and Wraith. They're willing to try it, and since Lion is or Lions has already had it in his uh, in his wish list, I told him that hey, I'm thinking about buying a Zomboid four pack for all of us, and he's like, "Fucking bet!" It's like, "Okay, noted." So I got that for everybody. I already got it downloaded, but I haven't played it yet because I'm gonna wait till Friday to play it with the boys. And then I work early. Sunday. I work early-ish Sunday, but early enough to make me not want to stream on Saturday evening. So things are gonna be things are gonna be a little patchy with the streams. Oops. Oh god, a fucking locust swarm. It is currently 6:21 where I'm at. Also, hello, Dietrichs. I did see your message. I was just in the middle of explaining the stream schedule. So yeah, the streams are going to be a little bit patchy the rest of the week and into the weekend. And then next week, I have a couple of really weird shifts. I have an 11 to 4 shift and like a, a 10 to 30 to 5 shift. That one's going to suck. So... Yeah, 
That's uh The streams for the rest of this week and into next week are going to be a little a little patchy, to just a fair warning. And then next week is already at the start of August. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my school email for uh year two stuff. Because the uh second year of university starts like the second week of September, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on like Required textbooks for the start of the new year, start of the first semester. Get out of my way. Yeah, normally nine o'clock is when most of my viewership, like you, Dietrich, and Crazy Eyes, go to bed by then. Which is why it's like the the late night after dark stream. <laughs> and I'm gonna be, like I said, trying out Zomboid with. Sif, Wraith, and Lines. Ethan may join, I have no idea. Although it has been getting annoying with him, like, playing D&D &D on the side. It's like, seriously, dude, just choose one or the other. Are you playing fucking D&D &D in the background? Kinda takes away a little bit. But I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I like whenever there's a specific mech swarm happening. They're not like a clear, distinct faction. They take voice lines from all the factions. I'm supposed to be following the convoy, but it's like I'm just sitting here fucking around with the enemy reinforcements. Leaving the convoy to defend itself. I mean, they can hold their own a little bit. They take a couple casualties, but technically only one tank needs to survive out of the whole convoy, so. And once the, uh, once the dropship lands, the convoy part is pretty much over. And it's just defending the convoy for another couple minutes. Well, yeah, for you it's early morning, yeah. Oh, I already lost a medium laser. What the hell? Sensor detecting enemy mechs. Apparently, one of those missiles headshot. Wolfhound squaring off against a Phoenix Hawk. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh, those fucking rag dolls, man.
Cat spam my hand attacks. Oh yeah, as soon as that thing lands, the convoy escort part of this mission's over. Now we're in tower defense mode. In this case, dropship defense mode. Baddies incoming, really, Coyote? You give a warning that your character swears a lot in the frickin' exploration quest, and that's what you say? Baddies incoming? He's gross, man. Ow. Whoosh sound the ECs do when the projectile flies. Whoosh. I mean, it could be a wash, wash or whoosh. Same difference. Enemy spotted. Keep focused. Emergency extraction protocol initiated. SH in German. Fucking low 
focused, almost got cored. Yeah, we're like a year away from, uh, from Clan Tech in game. Or three Igor units. The extreme weather conditions will interfere. I'm so used to my stream, uh, my off stream run where it's just, uh, and like Hero with the Federated Commonwealth, how Steiner, Pirates, and all that stuff. So I'm just used to like maxing out the freaking uh the uh the stuff. You you know, the stuff. The uh, negotiation points, that's the word. And it's only five over ten is whatever. Erby. Sure Got a pirate locust. Sentinel. Wyvern. Fucking pirate max. Pirate max are pretty much just like fucking broken OP max. Well, they're allowed to go over their max tonnage. Pirate mechs are fucking whack. I salvaged a pirate banshee in my uh, my Void Reavers run, which is my off-stream run, because I just don't want to keep calling it off-stream run. So I call it Void Reavers run now, but... Anyway, my Void Reavers run, I have a pirate banshee. It's like 150 tons out of, like, 95. Ugh. So they're like made to be like these broken OP mechs. Because, you know, they're pirate mechs. They're mechs modified by pirates. Pirates don't play by the rules. So they go over tonnage and just don't give a shit because they're pirates. Adds a little bit of extra challenge when you uh, always fight like the independents or the pirates or the periphery realms. Yeah, and I have like a fucking hyper velocity Goss 20 in it. And it does like 45 damage a tick. I have like three legendary medium lasers and a clan ERPPC in it. It's fucking mean. And then it has a mask in it so it can run. As a pirate mask in it, and pirate masks, they like, they have way shorter cooldowns, and they have way more burn time. So you can like hit the mask for like five minutes straight, and just not give a shit. So it can run at like 102, 108 kph. <laughs> just constantly because of the pirate mask. And it has a legendary assault battle axe in it. So it does like a hundred plus melee damage with the axe alone. So you get the pirate mask, you run up like a hundred plus kph in a fucking 95, like originally 95 ton assault mech. Smack him in the face for a hundred plus damage. That like cores most. That cores most. 
I can medium mix and below in one shot. Bonus points if it's an XL engine. But sometimes pirate mix can be tricky. Because pirate mechs are so over tonnage, the game sometimes gets finicky on allowing which mechs to actually deploy over tonnage or not. It all depends on uh, which pirate mechs were actu have actually been completed. And then there's also a separate mod called Pirate Legends that uh, is built around the clan invasion mod. It's kind of like a uh, a mini DLC mod or like a mini uh, add-on mod, add-on pack to the clan invasion made by one of their members. And it adds like super heavy experimental mix. And these experimental mechs are like assault mechs. Mostly assault mechs. There's some medium and some light mechs in there too, but they're like super rare. Super heavy mechs. I go like fucking like up to 200 tons. Like, I saw an experimental stalker, which is based off of the stalker assault mech, which is 80 tons. 150 tons of LRMs. Just imagine cannibalizing catapults for, for, for the boxes, for the LRM boxes, like the little Mickey Mouse ears on the catapults, and then just gluing, like, freaking like, ten of those on a stalker, and that's the experimental stalker mech. 150 tons of LRMs and medium lasers. I think there's some SRMs too in there. I didn't really pay attention. I uh, I looked at it once and told my uh, Aero V Direct Fire Atlas to just nuke it to Kingdom Come. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, just focus fire on that, please. I don't want to see that anymore. That is horrifying. <laughs> and then I just nuked it. And then I just... I didn't even get touched in my catapult. Freaking K2 just like didn't even care. Eh, it's ten. T it's only five tons over again. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, very exciting yet very terrifying late game, late game mechs with the clan invasion and the pirate legends. Hell, I even saw a pirate night star. Night stars are supposed to be like really fucking rare mechs, like Star League era mechs that haven't been seen in like thousands of years. And there's just a fucking pirate version of it. 150 ton Night Star. There's even a pirate version of the Marauder 2. And experimental versions of the Marauder 2, which are technically only supposed to be like unique to the wolf's dragoons like only very rarely seen outside of wolf dragoons ranks but there's just fucking uh, <sighs> and like the experimental version of the marauder 2 is like two three times the size of the standard marauder 2 they're they 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 big boys they they chunky they thick Right, so it's like their size reflects their uh, 
their extreme their extreme nature. I haven't seen one in combat yet, but I've seen uh I've, uh, I've seen, like, screenshots of them on the, uh, the Clan Invasion Discord server. New target, flee. Ugh, shit. I'm Coyote's Assassins have tracked us down, too. Fucking flee! Pan, 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 component lost. What the fuck do you mean, component lost? Who already lost a component? Target acquired. Convoy unit destroyed. Oh god, these assassins are gonna tear through. Gonna just tear through the fucking convoy. Target down and going critical. Target acquired. Incoming missile. Target destroyed. Who is the poor schmuck who got put in a fucking scorpion? They have a fucking LRM boat! A pirate Shadowhawk with them, ugh. Alright, you know what? We're not gonna be able to do this. We're not gonna be able to do this with the fucking assassins here. We've already lost like over half the convoy. There's a fucking pirate shadow hawk. Uh, not happening. Already half destroyed. The Phoenix Hawk is already half destroyed. What a shitty mission for the fucking assassins to show up on. That wasn't great. Thirteen days. We 
we need to do higher level difficulty contracts in order to get medium and assault mech salvage, but... I don't know if I have the pilot skill level to do them. Or I just grind up money and buy some, but quick draw, dragon, quick draw, draw. Well, a lot of quick draws. It's a shame it's not just four quick draws. We'd be the fastest alliance in the West. There's no way we could lose. God, I have the uh, melee quick draw on my Void Reavers run, quad clan, ER medium lasers, a long sword, mask, ECM, and an active probe. Run around poking things with a giant mech sized broadsword. Little commando in the distance. And a charger, poor guy. Form up. Hostile lick detected. Target acquired. You guys think she inject ejected in time? Oh shit, I'm almost already cored, what the fuck? Incoming missile. Ah New target, Griffin. Your kill is about to explode, Commander. Acquired. New target, Dragon. Jetted in time for the bathroom break. Blade units receiving heavy fire. Still not done yet. No way is he gonna get out of here alive. Three quick draws and a dragon walk into a bar. All the quick draws are drunk once the dragon arrives. Let's get out of 
see you, Commander. Job well done. rank nine I mean I guess I'll take the dragon components it's a, it's a heavy mech at least not the best heavy mech but a heavy mech oh my god they have six million C bills for an arrow V what do I even have I'm not going to use the haywire lasers. Apparently I have SR pirate SRMs. Do have tonnage to work with. That's the best we can all get for now. I have an idea for a new mission Coyote might be able to do when he gets back from his, uh, from his break. Because he's taking a break from modding now. No, I don't blame him. <laughs> he deserves a break after all the stuff he put into his missions, but I have a new idea for, for a mission type. It's a pretty simple idea, but I don't know how, uh... How uh, difficult it would be to implement. Maybe I can post it because I think he has a suggestions channel on his Discord. Does he? Uh, okay. Maybe I was seeing that in the Clan Invasion Discord server, but maybe I could just post it in his general chat, make like a Google Doc for it, explaining it all, but. It's a very simple design. It's pretty much a reverse beachhead. Where instead of the one assaulting the enemies, you're the one defending it. You and like maybe like another lance are like defending a, uh, a beachhead. 
where you've still got like a randomized number of artillery and a randomized number of satellite uplinks, but if the enemies destroy all your satellite uplinks, it'll be like, okay, starting out it'd be like, maybe like say 30 enemies in total, all right? They'll attack you in like waves of five, all right? Waves of five mix at a time attack you. If the enemies destroy all your satellite dishes, then all remaining 25 enemies just spawn rapidly one in front of the other. Oh god, we're being attacked by assassin swarm. Um, right. I don't know how balanced that would be. That might be a little overwhelming. But that's the uh, original idea I have. Obviously, you know, Kyle's not coming back to monitoring in a while. So if he does consider it, he has time to think about it. If he does want to to make it or it's like it just like increases the pace I guess you know maybe instead of five mechs every every 60 seconds it's five mechs every every 30 seconds right then you have a random number of artillery if the artillery dies then it's not like the mission's over maybe you lose out on like a 10% bonus C bill payout at the end of the mission kind of like uh Defense missions if you uh, if the base goes lower than 40 40 percent You lose out on a little bit of sea bill payment, but the main goal is to uh, Is to keep the primary garrison in allied hands All right, and then the primary lands Primary lands is uh, assigned to Defend, defend that garrison. They don't leave that garrison, right? It's up to you to uh, decide where to best use your lance. Do you uh, stay with the primary garrison lance and have both lances together defending, or do you uh, spread out to defend the satellite up uplink? You know, per five enemies, like a couple of uh, a couple of enemies could be assigned to uh, assaulting the, uh, the satellite uplinks, while the other three assault the main garrison. Kind of split them up, keep keep you on your toes or something. And and you have the primary lance gets destroyed because at the end of every beachhead you have like the final assault where like six enemies or like four to six enemies spawn at once there could be like a princess champion lance like backup lance that has like a maybe like a minute two minute delay until they spawn because if enemies attack your garrison then the game's over it's not like they capture the garrison then the final assault happens because i don't know if that'll be possible to mod in a reversal so like if the main garrison dies then like a princess champion like backup land spawns in after like a minute or two as the quote-unquote final assault and then maybe like each satellite uplink could have like, you know, a couple turrets, maybe a couple tanks, maybe a light mech guarding it just so they're not completely out in the open. Because on a beachhead mission, you're when you're the ones attacking, each satellite uplink has at least a single light mech and then a bunch of turrets defending it. It'd be the same way for you, obviously, right? Because, you know, you want to keep it somewhat balanced. So maybe, maybe maybe just like some turns and maybe like a tank or two, I don't know. Defending it and then uh yeah. It's like there's a certain amount of uh, of enemies, certain amount of units, certain amount of assets that the enemies can throw at you. Right if the satellite uplinks gets destroyed, maybe they increase in intensity. Oh maybe instead of five enemies per wave it's ten enemies. You know, maybe instead of every 60 seconds, it's every every 30 seconds, or every maybe 30 seconds, every like 20 seconds or something. Right? You don't want it to drag on for too long, because there's already really long missions, like the attack and defend, and the rescue mission. Right? Those missions are already pretty fucking long, and they take a long time to complete. But 
I don't know, it's just something that I've been sitting on and since I've tried following along with the mission creation tutorial, but they've changed things in the editor, but they haven't updated the mission creation tutorial, so I can't follow along with it. Like, the first thing they do is have you spawn a map. Okay, you spawn a map. And then it's like, they tell you to open up something else, but it's like, they don't have that option because they changed the editor. So it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do here, so I'm completely lost on how to make missions for MechWarrior 5. So unfortunately, I, uh, I tried, but I couldn't figure it out, so... Mm-hmm. It's just been something I've been sitting on and, uh, just been wanting to get out there, you know? Oh, shit. We're in 3048. We just need to get to December and then we'll have, uh, we'll have client tech. of missions for pirates. I'm always looking for pirate rep. So yeah, th th thanks for coming to my TED talk about about, about the mission type. And then of course there's like the uh, the leopard stealing mission I brought up a while ago, but uh, he didn't think that made sense lore wise. Because like, why do these people keep getting their leopards stolen? Or why do these people keep leaving their leopard dropships out in the open? I guess it doesn't make sense from a lower perspective, but neither does a 150-ton banshees running around either. But hey, people love the clan invasion mod, so just throwing that out there. Not salty or salty. Yeah, if I was able to understand the mission creation tutorial, I totally would have done it myself, but... Now that I'm in university and stuff, it's not like I have the time for that anyway. Even if I did get it working. Freaking AMS firing off. Kill confirmed. Amazing commander, nice kill. That's even going critical. Destroyed. 
Ah, come on, I'm stuck on a rock. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Got another one. There he goes. Doing a kickflip. Doing a kickflip to the grave. Get out of here. Primary target identified. It doesn't seem like our secondary targets are with what them. What the hell? Let's make this quick. I skipped a bit. Damn, another patrol? Ugh. Okay, what are you guys looking at? Hostile unit destroyed. What are you guys looking at? Better not be some dumb lone turret. The pirate jam. I'm tracking the target. I'm gonna go get him. God damn, look at him. Where does fucking feeties go, man? Fucking run animation going that fast. We got one, Commander. Good job. That's the last of them, Commander. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. I feel like pirate ECM stays on even when the uh even when the mech gets destroyed. I have no idea if that's the case, and if it is, then that's stupid. I'm just gonna say that now. If it's not, then I'll stand corrected, but if it is, then that just shouldn't be the case.
Apparently I have enough for a Kentaro and a Clint. Pirate supercharger go burnt. We sell the cicada salvage. Probably just sell the Clint salvage now that I built the Kataro. Keep the dragon and the marauder. Maybe I'll keep the crab salvage just for the sake of trying out the uh, the pirate crab. So that's the melee quick draw. I don't know if we're going to use a reverent. The direct fire herb, but meh. Only have one more hammer. I wonder where Nightmare went. He like just fucking cutty dipped. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you. Oh, because it's done? like you stopped talking and then your name got removed from the viewer list. So it's like, uh, did he lose connection? I thought you like just lost internet or something. Because I know sometimes that happens. So it's like, uh... that's why I, that's why I checked the viewer list. Because if somebody goes quiet for a long time without saying anything, it's like, wait, are they even still here? Cause it's like, I'm not trying to call out, I'm not trying to call out lurkers or anything, right? I'm not trying to call out lurkers, it's just that when somebody's active in chat and they get cut, and they like, you know, Fuck. 
assassination fucking lance assassin I'm uh, to get an assassination attempt on an assassination mission what the fuck man I'm not trying to call out lurkers or anything it's just that somebody's active in chat and then they like cutty dip and it's like er Oh boy. Let's hope these stupid assassins don't ruin the mission like they did last time. I haven't even cracked this guy's torso yet. Oh, he's an armadillo, yeah, that's why. Ah, and then I fucking lost an arm. Out of here. Who's next? Destroy. Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target, hunchback. We're on the right side all along. The side where the bullets come out of. I am a guy up. That's close enough. Ready to start pick up He not only steals my kill, but he fucking styles on me too, man. Styles on me with the fucking voice lines. Yeah, this is not a good predicament we're in. My cockpit's almost gone, and I lost a PPC and a machine gun. And a laser. Mm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Just gonna fucking switch the Shadow oh, Hawk at this rate. Fun yet or what? Better off just switching to a different freaking mech. <laughs> Like I said, I'm sorry for calling you all out, but just a little confuzzled. Somebody with my claw. Poke. Poke. No. Poke. Enemy destroyed. I don't know, maybe I just try giving the K2 to an AI because I just keep losing components in it. It's a very expensive habit if that happens. The K2 is a good mech. Don't get me wrong, probably my favorite catapult variant, but. Mainly because I don't use, you know, LRMs a whole lot, but losing components in it left and right, and it's a pretty bad habit to be doing that every time I'm using it. Hate how little damage the claw does.
Is that an actually a live tank? No. I thought it was moving for a second, but it's fucking prop. Positive identification on primary. Negative identification on secondaries. Watch your six. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Splash target. Oh, that's a Jaeger mech. That is a Jaeger of the mechs. That's a Yauga mech. It's already almost dead, but... Still a lot of burst damage on that thing if you don't kill it fast enough. And there's our chip. I'm stuck on the wall. Side here. Now let's go silent this artillery. gonna run over all of it just to make sure Just out of SRM ammo or something? The howler out of SRM ammo? He is. Ugh. That ain't good. Now I'm out of, uh, Toronto cannon ammo, too. Spending too much time fucking around back here. Oh, come on, get off the fucking wall. Bullets were good at this rate.
Holy. Identified, Commander. Put them down. God, it's an arrow V or B. Looks like our catapult that is stuck somewhere. Is Fahad will break open a case of Timbiki Dork when you get back to the ship safely. Why is the fucking... Why are you stuck? We're moving in behind you, Commander. Ah, oh, damn it. Contact enemy vehicle. Yeah, we like barely made any profit off of that mission. <coughs> There's just a fucking atlas here. Tempted. Really? We're out of tier one machine guns? I am tempted to get that Atlas. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's an atlas, man. It's an atlas. C-20 burst fire, SRM-6, LRM-20, Leopard Link. Only thing is, what do we get rid of? What? If we do pick it up. Yeah. 
Maybe the Shadow Hawk, maybe one of the one of these. Maybe the Howler because it keeps running out of ammo. This thing just does not have enough ammo apparently. A motherfucking yoink. Five Z bills. Five thousand Z bills. Uh, let's sell let's sell these two to make up for it. So Atlas time. AC-20 Apple just vibing in here makes me hurt inside, so... Nope. Uh. Not a lot of cooling for... All this frickin' heat gen. has a bin of SRM and LRM ammo each. I mean, is this thing really necessary? <clears throat> we'll see how it performs first, I guess. Hope this thing ends up being worth its price tag. <clears throat> Only an atlas if it can hold the weight of a world on its soldiers. There it is.
Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Atlas time. It is Atlas time. Stay cool, zero three niner. Units are en route. That battle mech is marked for destruction. We'll get there eventually, damn it. New target, Locust. Centurion. Bit too far. Only problem is this thing's so damn slow. <clears throat> Assault mech go thump. Go thump real slow. You don't go burt. No burt to go around with this thing. Unless you count the missile racks and the AC-20 burst fire going burnt. Then it kind of go burnt. But in the speed department, there's no burnt. There is no burnt. There is only thump. Taking so long to walk across the battlefield, my AI are like BA growing. The reactor on my kill is about to go crit. Incoming missile. 
I thought watching like target destroy. 20 missiles target fly at a target was crazy, but apparently like there's a Hurricane 100 missile launcher, which is acts like an S uh, LRM, but it doesn't do any damage, and it's supposed to be a utility weapon made to overload hostile hostile AMS systems. I right, like overloads the AMS system. It keeps the AMS system busy on the Hurricane missile, so you can actually fire like an LRM 20 strain fire and actually like do a lot of damage with it, even. If the enemy has has a lot of uh, a lot of AMS on it. Eliminated. Funny thing is, not a whole lot of mech enemy mech variants end up having AMS anyway. Enemy unit so it's kind of a uh, meh utility wise, but it's just more of a funny annoyance weapon. Seeing like a hundred missiles fly at a target because I have a King Crab with a Hurricane 10 missile and then an MRM like 40 launcher on it. And then just a bunch of machine guns. So it's just like a massive harassing mech. <laughs> Using the machine guns to take aggro and the machine guns and the uh, Hurricane missiles to take aggro and the MRM 20 clan just like rips them apart. It's a very entertaining wreck, especially in the AI's hands. God damn, I always fire off the uh, LRM launcher when the thing dies. It's not like it's never ending, but I think they only do like, I don't know, like fucking point five damage per missile or something. Or maybe like, I don't know, they, they don't do a lot of damage per missile. Like I said, it's an annoyance mech and an AMS overloading mech. And it's also a, a humor weapon as well, not mech, weapon. It's also a very humorous weapon. Considering the fact that, you know, you don't see a lot of AMS on enemies anyway. Like I said, it's just like watching a giant stream of a hundred missiles go fucking burnt at an enemy. And it just acts like a, like a stream fire LRM. So it's not all at once. It's a continuous stream. I don't know how you would get a hundred missiles firing at once to behave. <laughs> They'd probably all fly into each other and stuff, but... It's just... <laughs> Especially in like a third-person perspective when I give it to the AI because I have an AI on my uh, Void Reavers run that uh, has some pretty decent missile skill, missile and ballistic skill, so he can actually do at least a little bit of damage with the machine guns and the MRM. And just watching it just go... Going through all 100 tubes. It's, it's very entertaining. Like, it probably has enough LRM ammo in it, but I'm just very reckless with the launcher, and I keep firing off right when enemies die, so it's like... And technically, just like that, I'm technically wasting the ammo in it, but... My god, these fucking House Karuda fucking assassins. Or, well, I guess it's Karuda, not Lau. But these fucking assassins are just... Impressively persistent. Target trebuchet. Ammo low. That mech is my bitch. Hands off. That's rude. 
very rude. That mech is on our kill list. You know what to do. Ammo depleting. Or a glass cannon AI, you being pretty frickin' tanky, my guy. Target destroyed. Target acquired. That's where the ECM is coming from. Yeah, this, like, leopard link is supposed to, like cut down on the amount of ECM we get, but it ain't doing shit. So I might just take it off in favor of a little bit more ammo, just because of how reckless I am with, like, just fucking spraying it everywhere. Don't take that out of context. Fucking pirate raven! Die already, shit. <laughs> what, what, you want me to, uh, want me to go on my Void Reavers save just so you can see the hurricane missile launcher now? Stop swearing, it's rude. It's like the pirate pilots are the only ones who swear in because we're trying to- because I always try to ally with the pilots. Pirates, we don't really hear their voice lines all too often. Well, CT is going critical. Go to eject. well if you start talking about it, the hell I Alrighty. Fucking pirate assassin lance. Apparently, there's like a hundred and fifty ton super, super assault, super heavy mech called the Omega, and it's supposed to be like super rare. I have no idea where to get it, like what faction it even spawns with, but. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, nasty little thing, apparently. This thing is, like... Freaking the pirate mechs with EMS is just... Fucking... Annoying. We got Jenner mech killed, at least. Alright, let me, let me save this. Alright. I'll go over here. He is a wise man who does not, who does not eat yellow snow. Remember that, guys. Big brain. Big brain right there. He is a wise man who does not eat yellow snow. Alrighty, so... First of all, this is the Pirate Banshee. Fucking 154.94 tons. Casually. As you do, obviously. Got a pirate mask, tier 5 battle axe, hi clan hyper assault goss rifle, clan ERPPC, and then just a bunch of legendary me medium lasers. It has like an angel ESM, an EW active probe, cooling lines, and clan double heat sinks, and pirate double heat sinks, and fucking four royal jump jets for a hell of a lot of burn time. This thing has a thousand armor. Fucking 90 damage. 
alpha damage. I get 68 KPH, but with the mask, it goes like 108. And then, uh, and this is the thing with the hurricane missile. Uh, hurricane 100. Uh, they, it only does two, it does 0 0.2 damage per missile, right? So it only does two damage, right? But it's, it's just a hundred missile that just go, blah, just, just missile vomit. And it's supposed to overload AMSs, AMS systems. Right, a volley of hurricane missile, and then, like, the idea is to, like, fire this thing, overload the AMS system, and then, like, follow up with the clan medium-range missile. Because this thing ends up doing 68 damage <laughs> instead of just two. But it's still fucking funny to watch, and then it just has six clan machine guns, because machine guns go brr. Machine guns go brr. Also, uh, 210 million C-bills, by the way. <laughs> and then this thing. This thing is also noteworthy. It has quad plasma rifles. Alright. And apparently, like, melts plastic foam. Like, these plasma cards charges is pretty much just like boxes of foam <laughs> and it just vomits them out it does pretty decent damage does 15 damage a pop and we have four of them then just two er medium lasers for backup and it's it's a pretty nasty little thing when you fire all four of them i've one shot i've one shot like mediums and below with this thing and significantly weakened heavies and kind of damaged assaults but eh, not really no no not really uh not doesn't do a whole lot against assaults but it like it rips off components of a heavy mix really easily and like almost one shots all mediums and lows These are all the uh, pilots. I don't have Coyote. Coyote died. He got headshot while in the Atlas. I to make sure there's no artillery present on this one, and then uh, go ahead and confirm that up. I'm gonna be. Uh, it's kind of funny. It doesn't like. Does it classify? Does it actually do the 154? 150 tonnage, or does it just do 95? I have no idea, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh... Let's give you this, just for shits and giggles. I don't care about payment or anything. I'm just showing off all the, all the, uh... All the mean... All, all the mean mechs. Yeah, you already saw the Aero V Direct Fire mech, so I don't need to bring that one. Name it. I replaced all them standard inner spear medium lasers with clan medium lasers and a clan large pulse laser. Like a null signature system. This thing is like triple strength Moimer bundles. And like the effect is kind of cool for the plasma rifle. It's pretty much. Like a PPC, but it's like green. Enemies it's a green PPC. Front, so take care not to overextend your stay here. But if you do stick around, and then 102 KPH or so might just running at you with a 100 plus damage battle axe. Stay sharp, mech warriors. Ally command reports enemy movement is projected to hit your location at any moment. Time to earn our pay. And then with the four, four royal jump jets. All right, get ready for this. Four royal jump jets. The, the, this is the power of four, four royal jump jets right here. 
Jump jet fuel empty. Target. Combat vehicle rolling in. Be sure to take it apart. The clan, the clan PPCs are like orange. It's kind of cool too. So like inner sphere PPCs are blue, clan are orange, and then the plasma rifles are like green. Maybe, hopefully, we'll be able to get see an angle of the uh, catapult firing because it's not a K2. It's a C6. You think it would, you think it'd be a K2 too with the little arms like that, but it's not. And hey, forty Gooper. Damn it! I wanted to hit it with the axe. Clonk. Oh, what the hell? I didn't one shot. Possible. Here I was bragging about it one shotting light mechs, but then it doesn't one shot the light mech when I want it to. Oh, yep, there, there's the missile stream. <laughs> there's the Hurricane 100. There you go. That just clonked him out of the way. The recoil the vehicles get from the fucking Hag 40. Yep, 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 that command was just getting showered with missiles. Oh, I missed. I didn't actually hit him there. God, what's that? It's a longbow. Kill that longbow. Sorry, little one. I have armor for days. I'm just ripping limbs off here. Oh god, I hit him in the head. I didn't get hit in the hit in the head with a legendary battle axe. Ugh. Mean. This thing is mean. And it has a pirate AMS, so it covers like a big radius. You can see the ring on the mini map. That's the uh, pirate AMS range. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, God damn it! Let I want to hit a VTOL with the Hag 480. When when you hit a VTOL with the Hag 40, the thing just goes absolutely nuts. There's the fucking Hurricane 100, Jesus. Oh yeah, there's the green PPCs. That's the plasma rifle going off. Man, Roughnecks are fucking built different. Or something. Like, Jesus. Yeah, here. Another Whitworth hole up. Imagine seeing this thing rushing towards you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, it almost took both of his legs off with that. Imagine seeing this hulking... 95, you know, terms and conditions applies mech just charging you. <laughs> oh my god. I would be terrified if I saw this thing running at me. I was terrified when I saw this thing running at me. Because I technically salvaged this thing. I didn't buy this from the store. Pirate mechs are only very rare on the store. 
Like, I mean, I saw a pirate atlas once on the store. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I missed him. Oh, there he goes! <laughs> oh my god, you had a VTOL with the hang 20 and they just have a spasm. They just freak the fuck out. Just spiral out of control with the sheer force of this thing. I mean, mechs recoil pretty hard too after getting hit by this. It's kind of hard to see for the explosions, but they do recoil pretty bad when getting hit with this thing. Like you get, it's more noticeable on like the bigger mechs, like heavies and assaults. I don't know if this is, I don't know if on war zones, I don't know if this is like the employer's base or the enemy's base, but by the end of a war zone mission, the, whatever base plot, random base plot they have is it's just like trashed by the end of it. It's like, thank god this isn't a defense mission. Uh, this mech doesn't have a real sword, but that thing does. Battlemaster has a katana. <laughs> Sadly, doesn't do as much damage as the battle axes do, but it's still fucking cool looking. Let me let me look at the katana, man. I want to look at the katana. Stop trying to get into position and let me fucking look at that thing. Yeah, this thing just has a fucking axe, but it's a legendary axe. But unfortunately, the katana line of melee weapons don't do that much damage. And then again, I've never gotten a tier five katana before, so I don't know what the fucking I don't know about that. But the standard, like you know, one two pip katanas don't really do that much damage. But it looks fucking cool. So it's the rule of cool, I guess, with that thing. Clear the area. That mech is about to go critical. I meant that, yeah, that mech has a proper, like, sword. A lot of the melee weapons are just brutish weapons like axes and maces and claws and trench blades. But there are some, like, broadswords and, and katanas and, and longswords. Wait, I said long swords twice. Whatever. You know what I mean. A little bug there. It's like it's stuck in thermal vision. What was that anyway? That, oh, that was the panther. Now I just want to play on my fucking Void Reaver save for the rest of the stream. Play on this save for the rest of the stream or something. Because I've been trying to salvage the experimental max. But you have to play, like, difficulty 100 missions to get them to spawn. And they're rare when they do, anyway. Right? I just want more pirate pirate assault mechs and, and experimental stuff. At this rate, like, I'm not really getting mechs in this save anymore. I'm more so just saving up for the big stuff. Right, like, here, if we look at the, uh... Like Annihilator 2 2 C, so it's like a clan annihilator, or like quad clan Goss. The Fafnir is kind of a uh, iconic assault mech of the Inner Spear, so I, I, I kind of want to get one of those. Here's the uh, night. There's the Nightstar 2 C. There's a clan Nightstar. The Bushwhacker I just kind of want to get because Bushwhackers are known for their racks, and I like to rack it up a lot. 
I'm gonna put a rack five on this hero hunchback and it's pretty good. This is the experimental. I guess 15 hard points for missiles and 10 for lasers. This image of the stalker doesn't doesn't really do it justice. All right, hey, look at this. Look at this. Like fucking LRM 20s, LRM 10 Artemis, fucking medium lasers, large pulse lasers, LRM 15. It's like it's a fucking main thing, and it's 229 tons. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, and then there's like an experimental fire starter and shit, like, oh my god, dude. It is made. It is mean. Oh, it is so mean. I don't know if they show up in difficulty 80s. I think it has to be difficulty 100s. Mm -hmm. Let's try this uh, 91 war zone down here. Because you need to see it to believe it with some of these experimental mechs. Like, Jesus Christ. And you always want to get the ton of the uh, salvage shares to get them to. The uh, you can use the direct fire atlas, and then you could probably use the marauder too. But uh, before we go on this mission, I'm gonna go take a break. I gotta go use the bathroom, so we'll be right back.
Okay. Uh, I really want to see one of these experimental mechs on stream at least once. Can't remember if they only show up in difficulty 100, though. They might, but we'll see. Welcome back, thanks for them. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. We are walking right into the thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold back the tide of the enemy advance as long as possible, and then get the hell out of there. We will be on standby waiting for your extraction. Good hunting. A bunch of friendly light mechs here, but they ain't gonna last long. Acquired. Trying to catch these hammer hands. Damn, you're still alive. Trying to catch these hammer hands. Ooh, that was not good. I just fucking tanked that cruise missile to the face. Um, thank god I have over a thousand armor on this thing. But I still can't take many, uh, many arrow bees to the face before things start looking grim. Commander, you've got the Ops for his attention. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. I kind of want to get this Atlas on my uh, streamed run, or else this may become the streamed run. <laughs> Purple missiles, what the fuck? Clonk. This is big clonk. I said we clonk in the day. Said we clonk in the day. Kind of wish the AI wouldn't waste their ammo on the fucking uh, dropships, though. Dragon rifleman. It's like you can't bring it down. Why would you waste your ammo on it? Target is down. Surprise, motherfucker! Clonk. Just took out half of that rifleman in one fucking fail swoop. It's a good thing I ran away from that. I kinda wish you could bring the dropship down. Fucking AI want to believe that too, apparently. on missiles. Oh, well. Well, that was a little excessive. <laughs> okay, that's not the experimental stalker, but the stalker is what the, uh, the, the salvage, the salvage, what, is what the salvage we were looking at before, uh, jumping into this. Oh, well, rip that stalker. Well, <laughs> assault mech or not, you won't last long against the fucking arrow V. 
or a Hank for that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just cruise missile coming in from right field there. God, like, playing this melee mech is fun and all, but it's very dangerous when freaking cruise missile McTrigger fingers sitting over here in the Atlas. Delivering a solo lance, just bringing the dropship down and be done with it. More hostiles entering the combat zone's perimeter. Brace That's an contact. ultra auto cannon 10 Irby. Enter. Target destroyed. Target well, I mean, he's already dead, but okay, just to make sure, I guess. Oh, hey, look, a mad cat. Mad cat ult A. He is the Mad Cat in all his glory in Mech Warrior 5. I would go and slap it, but it's probably gonna get cruise missiled here in a minute. Or maybe not. Oh, I missed anyway. Now it's about to get cruise missiled. I see him lining up the shot. Look at him. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for it. At least he used up all, like, 20 missiles already. Looks like the Marauder 2 is fighting a Wiper over here. Enemy mech eliminated. Or he was being bothered by a Wyvern. Clonk! He's up General Yuri. It is pretty cool and it's even better modded. Just bear in mind, this is a heavily modded campaign, so... Oh, what the fuck was that? So a lot of this stuff isn't in the base game. Like going 102 on a Banshee. That's not in the base game. Game is this? This is Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries, the newest Mech Warrior game. Had a couple DLCs too. Yeah. Yeah, Cyclops. Teach me. Uh, I'm not a very good teacher, fam. I'm not a. F Did I not update? Wait, what? Uh oh. I did not mean to do Mech Warrior 5. Oh, I thought I already did that. Pretty sure I already did that on my end. King up! If I can hit the brakes on that, and no one get caught in that. I swear to God, I already changed it to Mech Warrior 5, though. Like, I know I changed the title. Did the, chi the title change? Hopefully, it's not still in Blade and Sorcery. Oopsies. 
through with us at the extraction point when you're ready. Eh. Let's just hit edit stream info a couple times. Let's just hit done a couple times on that just to make sure. Our employer wants this area cleared of all I mean, do we tanks. stay for a bit? I don't know, for like a difficulty 90 mission, it's definitely been feeling like a paper tiger so far. Let's watch a Lanza 4 experimental next drop. Now there's just gonna be like a five second segment of Mech Warrior 3 in the chapters. Because on like Twitch VODs, it shows chapters, right? It's going to be like a five second Mech Warrior 3 section now. My perfectionism! Stuck up there. Oh, falling Meg, Me falling Meg Rider, falling Marauder. Ah, oh, that's all right. Fucking when I download it as a bot to edit it on shotcut, it doesn't fucking matter anyway. <laughs> it's only the Twitch bot that says that. I'm probably just gonna get out of here, to be honest. As I fly away in my, in my 85 with ton of salt mech. 95 even, 105 technically, 150 even. Mission success, Commander. Time ah. to get out of here. If I do get another mad cat, what the fuck mech am I even gonna replace it with? And no, I don't have enough. I think I sold all my mad cat parts anyway. I'm just going for experimental and pirate mechs at this rate. Endgame Battleground. Oh my god, last time I tried this mission, it failed miserably. Ah. Uh. 
Hmm. Yeah. You're tempting me there, there again, but I. Mm, minus two, two point three thousand reputation. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, the independents are technically the clans at this point in the timeline, so, you know, don't worry, they deserve it. Filthy cleaners. Anyway, I. Like, the end game missions are balanced around vanilla, right? Unmodded vanilla. But I have a lot of scary mechs and weapons in the game that make these, like, extra icky to try and play and it's like the last time I tried to play this I got right to the very end there were like only like a couple of enemy mechs left but my entire lance was dead all my allies were dead and I couldn't finish it so uh, I don't know I don't uh. I mean there's a high chance you might find an experimental mech on this mission but uh, I don't know if we'll be able to finish the mission at the end of the day. Like, I want, like, difficulty 100 missions, not difficulty 250. I just think that it's not possible for me to play these endgame battle end game missions and fortress missions just because of the amount of mods I have. The amount of mods I have just make it way too difficult. And it's kind of my fault, not gonna lie, but, I mean, I can just choose not to play them. <laughs> I'm not gonna get rid of all my mods just to just to play these end game missions. I really, uh, I don't know. Do I even bother trying this, guys? Probably not safe. Scumming if the game crashes. I mean, I have like more than enough money. I could repair everything. I just don't want to lose all the weapons, right? I just don't want to lose the Hague forty Goss. And that's the only Hague 40 Goss I got. I don't want to ruin... I don't, don't want to lose all these expensive clan mechs or anything. Yeah, it's just... The, the state of the mods right now is just... Like, damn near impossible. To do these stuff. Do these stuff. There it is. Um, I mean, if we do somehow manage to pull it off, two free hero assault mechs and a bunch of max tier weapons. I don't really care about that. I only care about getting my hands on on some experimental mechs, but we'll see. Just to give you guys a taste of what these endgame missions are like, but with the current state of my mods, I just not good enough to do it. <laughs> I think... And you like, and you either need to play in co-op or just have a lot of long-range weapons. I mean, technically we do. We have the Hake 40 Goss, we have the Arrow 5 Direct Fires, we got the MRMs and the Hurricanes and the Clan Pulse Lasers, but... I don't know, man. We do have to uh, download encryption keys from Allied Command Mechs. It's just, it's a lot of, like, just fucking... And we have to prevent the base destruction as well. That's also a thing we have to do, and there's like always assault mix attacking it, and it's just, it's a boatload of fuckery is what it is. This is just insane. Will we hold the line at Nav Alpha though? Will we? Let's try to murder that longbow as soon as we can. Ow, ow. Mac Tango eliminated. Murder that longbow. What's that? Is that an experimental or is that just a normal cataphract? That's just a normal cataphract. Go 
That guy's gone. That guy's a scorpion. Don't really care about him. You can kind of ignore that scorpion. Now that he's the only thing threatening the command deck. Alright, that's complete. Go ahead and take that thing out. Alright, that guy's out of here. There is one of the more tanks. Destroy it. New target, rifleman. Target acquired. Rectangle down. Oh, they're not linebacker next. Focus target updated. I don't want to get too far from my lance, though. That's why I'm not, like, hitting the gas here. Ow. Did you find the acquisition? Just walk up to it in order to pick I mean, it that up. guy hasn't been touched yet, which is surprising. Give me the plant! Give me the plant. Get to the base! Alright, we only need to protect it enough. Enough time for us... For us to fucking, like, down, download the data. We need we need to download the data. We need we need to download their search history. All right. We need to... we need to get back in the ring here. Let me get back in the ring. Well, at least I can at least I can snipe with the clan PPC and the and and the hag. And I think I know the wave is going to spawn after we capture this thing, too. Download their porn library, yes. Even though this is technically the friendly base. We're downloading our friendlies. Oh, that was a little excessive, my guy. Oh, that was a little... I was a little excessive on that little poor, poor little tank there. Oh Jesus Christ! There's so much out there. I I am scared right now, ladies and gentlemen. I am scared of this many enemies. Oh, get a mad cat. Is that two mad cats? No, that's a Narine. I mean, still a pretty dangerous combatant. Don't know about that. Orions are still kind of scary. Except for when they have XL engines. Oh! I just need to stay in the circle. Alright, go after that thing next. That thing's like fucking pushing up way too forward. We need to uh, punish that guy for that. Alright, we're almost done with this. Almost done with this. Okay. Data transfer complete. We've got that done at least, but there's still a lot of fucking shit on this map. Fuck you for getting too close to me. Go after the victor next. We only have so much armor! Alright, cycle up next. Cycle. Acting as a bit of a tank here. Oh yeah, look, we have more enemies on the on the hill as well. Nice. Okay, gotta frack next. Ow, 
ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow. Pirate Blackjack! Mad Cat next. That must be one of the tanks we contracted for. Already had the light on. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Right. Cyclops. Sorry, I'm not reading chat right now. I'm just a little bit uh, engaged at the moment. Fuck that long though. Target received. Engaging. Target destroyed. Incoming missile. Oh shit, no, my CT! No! That kills reactor is about to explode! Target acquired. Target received. Engage. We have your target, Commander. Target destroyed. Prepare yourself for the final wave. Oh no, I thought we were done. What is the final wave? What is the final wave? Oh no, please don't be too bad. Please don't be too bad. Please don't be too bad. Oh, it's a locust swarm. Okay, okay. That's a lot of locusts, actually. Okay, I think it just, like, I think it may just pick from a random collection of just enemy waves, I guess. I'm scared my CT is open. I do not want to let these guys in my rear arc. No! I was going crit. There's so many. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking goddamn locusts. Yes! We did it! My first end game mission! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that feels good! Holy shit! <laughs> Fifteen locusts walk into a bar. The bouncer says, "Nope." <laughs> oh my god, that feels good, man. Whew. All it took was an OP 150 ton banshee. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that. I know it may not seem like much, but that was the first end game mission I've ever been able to complete, and I feel kind of good about that. That was nice. I almost got cored at the end. I had to keep those locusts out of my rear arc. That was kind of scary. Like, 15 locusts doesn't seem that bad until your CT is about to pop. <laughs> That's, at least it was my rear armor and not my front armor. Ugh.
then we get a legendary victor and a legendary stoka and then we get two legendary auto cannons two two legendary auto cannon five burst fires and four legendary auto cannon tens damn that's a nice haul that's not a bad haul at me thinks clan gus clan gus uh, clan er large laser clan SRM4, ERPPCs, uh, Pirate Beagle Active Probe, a bunch of fucking Locust parts, some Clan Jump Jets. I don't really care about any of this stuff because it's none of the, uh, it's none of the experimental mechs. Man, that still feels good, man. That's like fucking dopamine right in my bloodstream right there. <laughs> nice. Gonna have to, gonna have to like highlight that mission and, and, and send it to Coyote's Discord or something. Well... I don't know if we're going to use these mechs for now. We'll just send them to cold stores for now. They are hero mechs, right? They're two free hero assaults. Alright. Uh, where's that victor at? Basilisk. Maybe. Maybe we can do something with it. Yeah, like the uh, the locusts. Uh... The locusts are kind of scary, right? At first, it's like okay, it's just locusts, but then like the realization like set in where it's like I'm actually almost cored. I gotta be careful here, and that's why I switched to third person so I can like keep an eye on them better. Do I replace anything, though? Like, what would I replace? I'm not replacing the Battle Master. That's my go-to assault mech. Although, the Banshee's kind of my go-to assault mech now. Um, I don't know. What do I do with these hero mechs? Two laser, two ballistic, three missile, and then a melee. That's a melee hardpoint. We can try something with that. It's an 80 ton assault. Oh, I go finally let the quick draw rest its weary bones. Okay, I just want to like fucking repair that real quick because it's bugging me. The stalker was bugging me. Let's go ahead and bring the Basilisk over. Can we do anything with this? It's an engine core. Uh, do that and then hit it with an XL right away. Still give me enough stuff to do stuff with. And we max armor. Give it some more weight saving. <clears throat> Hi, Lily. My caddy. Hey. <clears throat> Lily going to Lily's box? Yep, straight to the box. No hesitation. Lily is going to Lily's box. Uh, 
Oh, it only has assault knuckles on it, though. That's a shame. <clears throat> I thought it, like, actually had, like, a proper melee hard point on it. Damn. Hamlin. Double clan ER larges. A bunch of royal double heat sinks to make up for all that. God. Uh, dual L MRM 20s. Ah, oh, man, damn. Hmm. That's 79 kph. This will be 60 kph. Do I give it a couple racks? Ah. I just give it a rack five. I think I want the clan invasion version of it though. Rotary Goss. What? Rotary Goss. Too bad I can't use it. Okay, that is not enough fucking rack ammo, my dude. I give that a case. Oh, it's actually fucking cost stuff. Damn. That's a shame. See how that works. I won't stop asking until we have it. <laughs> Lily is doing Lily things. That's some great. Uh, that's a, that's some great weapon groups there, my guy. See how that works. Put this uh, hero Victor to the test. Dual contract. I mean, we won't be able to use the basilisk for a while because it's going to take a while to actually load all that stuff on there. It's like, okay, it's only 55 more days, but that's still quite a while. For that to be refit, that's nothing. And then it's like, I'm gonna get the one kitten cam, and then I'm gonna have both. I'm gonna have Lily in the box and Salem on his uh, spot up above, and then you're gonna be starting to say dual kitten cam win. Maybe. Yeah, we 
got it. It's time to do 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 I'm only going slow so my lance can keep up. Stop shooting at the damn drop ship! Why did the giant cruise missile go off course? Huh! Huh! Eeeh! Ooh! Oh, that's a dire wolf and two Marauder 2s and no oh god. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, nuke that thing to Kingdom Come. Go after that thing. Um. Thing has a. What is that? Okay, that thing has a rack in it as well. That thing has a rack. We're racking it up and smoking that herb. What? Yeah, the, the Marauder 2 is kind of shrugging off my uh, my legendary axe here. Eh. Stop it. Stop it! Huh. <sighs> well, that was scary. <laughs> oh my god, two Marauder 2s, a Dire Wolf, and an Orion. What the fuck? No experimental mix yet, but... Hi, Lily. Sleepy kitty. Sleepy Lilies. Huh. Ooh. I mean, I kind of want a dire wolf, not gonna lie. I kind of... A dire wolf would be pretty frickin' pog. Man, like, <laughs> I like how the Atlas and our Marauder 2 didn't even take any damage. I think the King Crab took the fuller first brunt of the brunt of the assault, and then I just tainted with you know my a thousand plus armor. Yeah, that thing was lost, lost a fair bit of armor, and then I lost like nothing in comparison. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do that multi-mission op, going to be honest. Interesting nickname. A three mission op. Uh. Twenty one days. I'm just freaking playing my off stream run on stream now. <laughs> this is where all the fun stuff happens. This is where the fun begins. Forces. 
Their survival is not oh, our priority. Matt, heavy mech immediately died. Irby. Oh, hey. But already the Commonwealth sent mechs to assist. They sent an awesome and a banshee. Thank you, Federated Commonwealth. Target acquired. Who are you? I'm you, but stronger. <laughs> hey, look at this pleb standard banshee. Only an AC-20 and a small age. Look at this pleb. Look at this wannabe. Okay, well he just decked a, a decked of Etol, so you know what? Maybe I ain't giving him enough credit, you know? <laughs> he turned around and showed me. Eh. <laughs> I hit him so hard he evaporated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm glad I decided to play this. That's just an Irby, but non me, Mike. Yeah, that's just an oversized Irby. With giant gorilla arms. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Banshee has, like, a fucking... Like, Battle Fists, or a Hulk Smash Quirk. That, uh, makes it, uh... That makes it do more melee damage. Oh god, a yow, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is this cancerous looking, like, catapult wannabe looking motherfucker? Like, what even is that? What even is that? That is a cancerous catapult, is what that is. Look at this fucking, like, weird motherfucker and his oversized missile days. Like, how does that even work? What is this? Somebody at the client invasion discord has to answer to that freak of nature looking thing. Shara. Apparently, according to the clan invasion discord, that's when you that that's what you get when you buy your madcap from Wish. It's like an inner sphere version of the madcap. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Chimera. MRM-20. That's kind of scary, actually. Those MRMs don't fuck around. Eh! Target destroyed. Target acquired. Incoming missile. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. That's yep, time to go and stuff. Gotta love them. Recon has spotted additional bogies heading along a trajectory that intersects with your position. Target 
acquired. Longbow. You're the LRM fifteen, awesome. Target acquired. The lur the lurm something, if you will. Wow, that rifleman just sh impressively shrugged off that arrow V. It took one arrow V, like, fucking to the mouth. <clears throat> this is probably going to be the last mission of the night anyway. Done after this mission. It's already after nine. <clears throat> Incoming missile. Enemy mech destroyed. Destroyed. Target acquired. Share target identified. Oh God, target that's destroyed. that's a little excessive. Incoming missile. This fucking rocket just flying at him. Let's just get out of here. When you're ready to leave the fray, hop aboard the ship and we'll get you out of there. Oh my god, I like recoiled that VTOL back. Eh! Gonna get the mid air smack. Eh! up ammo. There's no such thing as overkill. Well, well. A job well done, Commander. Stand by for pickup. Ah. Uh. I'm glad I decided to play my stream run today. <laughs> Got to do my first in-game battlefield. Or my first in-game mission in general. Like I said, that's just dopamine right to my bloodstream. Just nice. I'm still worthy. <laughs> LRM20 stream. All right, well, that is going to call it here for the day. Thank you all for watching and all that. And oh, hey, Windows, how you doing?
And yeah, that's uh, I'll call it here for the day. Didn't get to see any experimental mechs this time, but maybe next time. Maybe I'll just jump straight into the straight into the Void Reavers run next time. Try to find me an experimental mech. Go experimental mech hunting. But until then, we'll be calling it here for the day. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.